Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we have this 2012 BMW 740Li and um, in the past I did a different video about the intake bag cleaning but in that case that was a 750. Uh, that one has the N63 engine which is the V8 version of uh, the 7 series. In this case, 740 has a straight six, the M55 engine. And the M55 engine is going to be equipping all the uh, three series, five series, X5, X6, any uh, vehicle that has the 35 designation from 2009 and up. Uh, for, for the three series, it's going to be from 2011. So, but uh, they're gonna have a pretty similar engine, which is the M55. Uh, direct injection uh, turbocharge. In this case, it's a, a twin scroll turbo. But anyway, uh, today uh, we're gonna show you how to uh, clean the intake valves on this specific engine. And as I said before, this is going to work for all those engines. It doesn't matter what type of body you have, as long as you have the straight six N55 engine. So this is a very easy process. The reason why you want to do this is for many uh, different reasons. Uh, one of the main reasons is because uh, you want to prevent problems, misfiring, uh, dry train malfunction and stuff like that. You can prevent them by cleaning the intake valves on the, on the engine. And also with that, you can prolong the life of the engine because everything will work as it's supposed to be. Uh, it's, you don't need that many uh, special tools for that. All we're going to be using in this case is a screwdriver. This screwdriver is going to be to remove this part over here. So, uh, that's all we're going to be using uh, because when you inject the uh, intake bag cleaner, it has to be after the air filter. In this case, the air filter is located right here for the M55 engine. So uh, you cannot uh, inject the uh, fluid before the air filter because the air filter is going to get saturated with that much uh, component than that you want to spray inside the engine. So uh, you have to make sure to spray it anywhere. I mean, you don't have to spray it from here if you don't want to, but I like from here because you take everything from here. You take the turbocharger, throttle body, uh, intake manifold and everything else that is on the way. That's the benefit to do it from here. But if you have another way to do it, it's up to you. So, for that, we're going to be using this, the intake bag cleaner. Uh, I use it on my other video as well. It's pretty good, it works well. And uh, as I said before, it can prevent so many problems. And uh, as preventive maintenance, it is good to use. It's pretty simple. You, we just like, put it like this in this position. And now we're going to start the engine. <laughs> All right, uh, to apply this, all we have to do is to rev the engine just a little. You have to read the instruction over here. It says just to read, the, uh, just to rev the engine to 2000 RPMs. That's just to keep a steady uh, working uh, RPM. And as soon as we get that done, we're gonna start with the process. If you wonder how to keep the RPM steady, all you have to do is to put something right there. You see as that one? So that is something that is it's holding the seat and it's holding the uh, gas pedal at the same time. So that's the best way to do it. In case the RPM is too high, all you have to do is to move it just a little, just uh, to reduce it. But if it's too low, we can just move it, see? And that's how you're gonna manage to keep the RPM steady. Uh, the RPM is set where it's supposed to be. So all we have to do now is to insert the uh, the little strut and cones with this. But to insert it, because that thing is super tight, I'm gonna be using the same screwdriver to open that a little over here, like this. So I can insert this one there. Like this, but make sure just to shake it before. Like this, just a little. It's a spray can, so. Once it's enough, shake like this, so we can just like insert it here. Make sure then goes through. And now we're gonna be spraying little by little. Not that much. You hear that? 
That's when the, when the injection goes to the engine. You hear how the engine changed the RPM sound because of the heavy material. That's the reason why you gotta keep the RPM up. So now we're just gonna continue doing this until this camp is empty. ended up uh, applying the first hand, I have a second hand. If, uh, the, if you have a really bad problem of misfiring or something, you may need to use two cans. But if you want uh, for, for prevention, it is also good to use two cans because it can clean the whole system. But I have to use something for my hand because that is super hot. For some reason it's getting super hot because of the weather right now is hot. But uh, probably you wanna need to use the same, otherwise you wanna feel like your, bone is, like your hand is burning. But uh, nevertheless, uh, this is to complete the job. All right, so I wanna be applying the second can just for prevention. It's not necessary. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to. But you can apply it too to clean the whole system. Especially on BH, you can do one and one, but this one is a straight six, so you can do one for the whole engine or two as you wish. So let's continue. This is the way you're gonna be applying it because you don't have to hold it all the time, otherwise you will spray all and you can damage something on the engine. You gotta be liter by liter, a tap. applying the bottle if you apply one or two the instructions are that you have to turn off the engine for a while so when I turn it off right now and when I leave it rest but before you turn it off make sure to uh, release the rpm so when I remove the stuff we put there so the engine can go to idle and now we can turn it off very important all right after uh, the waiting time 10 minutes or so um, engine is still hot, but it is time to turn the engine back on. So uh, the only thing you're gonna notice, then uh, hopefully it won't happen, but usually happens, is when you turn the engine on, you're gonna see a lot of smoke coming from the tailpipe. So that is completely normal. So something else that I forgot to mention right now, then just make sure to tie everything back, the hoses, the covers, everything that you remove, make sure to put it back as it was because now the car is ready to go. So, uh, right now, uh, at this moment, there is nothing going on, there is no smoke from the tailpipe, which is good. But after a while, the engine running, it will start smoking. It will happen because that it is kind of like oily, so that oil takes a little longer to get consumed, especially when it is trapped 
in the exhaust manifold and the piping then comes to the tailpipe. So uh, after everything gets hot, then it's gonna be like uh, gone. Uh, but in the meantime, you wanna see smoke and don't worry, that's completely normal. So in my other video, you can see it clearly. So after the uh, injection of the um, bar cleaner, uh, it is good to take it for a test ride just to uh, make sure that everything works fine. But, but see, smoke coming from the tailpipe, see? You saw that, right? So that's a lot of smoke. So that's how everything is gonna be, like on this one. So that's right, you have to take it for a uh, test right right now. We're gonna have another, so don't float it all the way. You wanna like take it liter by liter. See, you wanna see smoke? See? Because we wanna take it slow. And that's how we wanna do, take it slow. Don't float it all the way because you can damage something in the engine. So you have to drive it very slow. That's how you're gonna feel then uh, all the thing is getting burned. And we're just gonna continue doing this for a while. All right, after the uh, drive, engine performance got back to normal because of all the fluid that was stuck in the uh, CAC, the cool, uh, uh, the uh, charge uh, air cooler that it was stuck now when you uh, drive the car because of the boost pressure you start like pushing that fluid back to uh, the um, engine so then uh, you want to feel the power again but that is how the whole sequence of the process ends because all the all the uh, material then was stuck in the ducts all the way to the engine got consumed and everything there got clean because of that fluid thing we injected so now the engine performance got back to normal so at the beginning probably when i feel some hesitation here and there but that's normal so that's it so now we're just gonna go back and inspect for anything else and that will be pretty much all All right, so as I say, we have to come back and check uh, everything again, just to make sure that everything is back on place, everything that you remove, and there is no broken pieces or something after the drive. That's very important. Don't, don't just trust uh, that everything is fine. So there is nothing on the side, there is no leaks and everything, that means that everything was done successfully. And, uh, and also, uh, he is the owner of the uh, car and, and as, uh the reason why uh we did this so as you say right then you have um the misfiring problems yes, right misfiring. yeah so uh had misfiring problem coming back in how, how it was coming back and forth after 200 300 miles come misfiring number three number six number three number four like this but i check your video on youtube I came here, you helped me, I appreciate a lot, it's the best. And that's the way to go, right? So yeah, so uh, that's the reason why we did this. It is not because I found something broken, it is not because I found spot plug, but I, I, it is just from probation because the car doesn't have a problem. If we found a misfiring in a cylinder, let's say a cylinder number three, and the misfire keeps going and going, and uh, we have to check that cylinder and see what's going on there and do a repair and then get a conclusion, you know what, we can clean it. But in this case, because it is not a constant mid fire, that means then all mechanical pieces are good and uh, there is nothing like bad with the mechanical pieces. So misfiring can happen because of low compression, a low compression can happen because of leak of the compression. And this was one of the easiest way to uh, do something about it and let's see what happens i mean like i don't i don't, don't say then this will fix 100 percent any problem that you have related to misfire but it can help or it can be the solution it depends right so up to right now this is all this car needed because there is nothing else thing is bad there is no checking in light there is nothing there is no misfire right now it comes and goes back depending but uh that's all we want to be uh 
referring to right now. But as I said at the beginning of the video, the whole point of this video was to show you how to do the intake valve cleaning on a BMW N55 engine, which is going to be a little different as the one I did before, but the basic is the same. Uh, the only thing you have to be sure, as I said before, is to know where you want to connect the pipe, the little strut, and comes from the little uh, bottle. Because uh, just make sure that it is after the air filter and where there is no excessive vacuum too, like the intake manifold. Because in this area over here, you have the intake manifold, that's excessive vacuum, and that can have problems with the idling, with the engine idling. So. Uh, just make sure to just double check on that. That's the reason why I did it from there. But uh, if you know somewhere else, then it's easier, you can do it as well from there. So uh, that uh, will complete the job. And uh, I hope you find this video informative. If you have anything else to add to the video, use the comment section below. Uh, you have any suggestions, opinions about anything, just uh, comment below as well, ask me anything. You can look for me on Instagram too, ask me questions, look for Francisco Maya YouTube, and then you can ask me questions, you can ask me anything about uh, these cars or uh, what to do, or if you have problems too, you can contact me, and as soon as I have an answer for you, I will, I will reply to you, or if I don't have the answer, I will try to find out what is your problem. That way you have information about your problems as well. Uh, make sure to like the video, it's very important. Subscribe is important as well because we do all our best to keep making informative videos uh, about these machines that are so complex nowadays. And uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for the next videos coming soon.